Hey guys, how's it going? So I've been getting a lot of notifications. I guess KJ has done an Instagram live that I really need to see. A lot of people were telling me that she was drunk. And I guess she was a big arsehole again and so on and so forth. Um, I still feel like crap. Oh my god. I just want to get this one done. This is the second part. So I'll post the first part probably later on. I don't know, not today, but in a couple days. I just wanted to do this one just in case she raises it on us because she's good for that. So, all right, let's watch this drama. <laughs> I need to get something off my chest and I need to go back. Oh my God. And like, people are trying to feel sorry for me, but I don't want people to feel sorry for me because I'm not trying to make people feel sorry for me. Uh, I'm just trying to like stand up for what's right. And I'm just trying to like, people don't get that the last two days I've needed to seriously decompress because I have had some of the worst human beings on the phone with me and in my inbox and trying to suck my ass to get me to <laughs> not post shit that's not favorable to them. Wow. They think that because they're calling the duggers out that I'm some somehow supposed to ignore their crimes, which is stupid. Nothing happened. I'm just calling shit out for what it is. I am going to say this. Um, if you have committed a sexual... You can always tell, like nobody. If I wasn't told anything, I would have. I would have already known that she was hammered because she is so mean and so miserable. She is someone who cannot drink. Oh my god! Well, crime against a child. I don't have sympathy for you. If you are punching your children in the face, wow. I don't have sympathy for you. If you are setting your children up with child molesters, I don't have sympathy for you. If you're justifying corporal punishment, I don't have sympathy. For and if you're contacting me trying to figure out who I'm talking to because you are afraid that I have information about you, but you are then pointing the finger at the Duggars. The reason why nobody in this world speaks out, I'll tell you the truth, you guys. Once you get inside it, they're all criminals. Every one of them are criminals. They're all doing this for At this point, KJ, you're a damn criminal. Like, honestly, out of all the things that I've shown, all the things Manel Smith has shown, all the things that... All things sassy is showing. Backwards Barbie, Crystal Bill, EKC People Suck, Aaron, um, even Roadhog. Um, all the stuff on Twitter that Steve McRae has out of all of us. And there's plenty more. I know I'm forgetting. Sorry if I missed your name. But out of all the things people have shown, she's the problem. And she definitely is criminal. Like, my God. Horrible things for their kids. They're all hiding horrible secrets. And they're all justifying it under the guys of God. You know how many people in the last three months have told me that uh, God mandates them to beat their children? Do you know how many have inappropriately spoken about sex and been fully disgusting while I'm talking to them? Well, their wives are there and their wives don't say a damn word. I'm a professional and I don't give a shit who you are. No, you're but not. I just want to say something. Like, just because you're an alpha man and you exist in a world where you think that you're holier than thou doesn't give you the right to be like sexually inappropriate with women just because you think you can. Like these men, so many of them have no boundaries. But I'm gonna stand my ground and say like punching your kids in the face is fucked up. It's fucked up. You're the one that's act up. Huh? Having conversations where you're talking about how you need to get your wife under control and not let your wife speak. Oh yeah, that's what these guys talk about. Um, they flat out talk about how their wives should be able to talk. You're one of the wives that shouldn't be speaking, in my opinion. Friends. Get your wife under control. <clears throat> but yet, the friends that they're saying this to are in that world, too. And then they try to, like, pretend like they're somehow better. None of these people are better. If you're going to blow a whistle, you need to blow the whistle on yourself. And that's why this world exists. I figured it out. I spent the better part of two years trying to figure out why the secrets in this, in this world stay hidden. It's because they're all guilty. They're all doing shit that's, like, so horrible and they're doing it under the guise of religion and that's what pisses me off more than anything because i'm an atheist and these people are so disrespectful to the you know what i think she's really mad about is the fact that she's both face lying about all the stuff that she says and no one is believing her anymore like look look what i just seen mk honeybee just said sources should be able to tell you something off the record Maybe those lines got blurred. I'm also not sure if telling everyone about Amy's finances was worth the story and losing her as a source. <clears throat> Does this mean you're going to back off because of the phone calls? Probably not. 
They sure are obsessed with dill pickles. What? When I used to watch their show, they bought... Oh, God, who knows what that's about. Probably <clears throat> something that's absolutely fine that they made... That KJ's made nasty. Oh, wow. Now they're saying that there's always been something off about Amy. I'm really glad you didn't go to the trial. <laughs> she didn't go because she wasn't invited. She didn't go because she knew she would have got her ass kicked, in my humble opinion. Telling it the way it is. Yeah, right. After 35 years ago, my sister went to Long Beach Convention Center, Long Beach, blah, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, is that it? Here's a question. How the hell would you know that you're bisexual if you've never even been with a girl or have had thoughts about girls or anything like that? She said that she's never had. Um, <clears throat> and I know for a fact, I, I just know I can read this woman like a book. In my opinion, she absolutely said that she was bisexual to relate to the LGBTQ community, which she hates, by the way, because she's always making nasty remarks about them. I don't put up with the fact that you punch your children in the face. And I don't put up with the fact that you enable horrible behavior. I am sick for the kids in this cult that grow up with these men and they think it's normal. I'm sick for the women that are married to these men that justify and feel like they've been defended. I'm learning so much how these women are coached by their husbands to pretend like what they're going through is an abuse. I have been on the phone with women knowing that their husbands are abusing them, knowing that their husbands are beating them, and hearing them defend their husbands because if they don't, they're going to get their ass with me. And I know that's a scary place to be, but they don't fool me. And it's sad because these women don't believe that it's happening to them. Or if it is happening to them, they believe that it's justified. Exactly. When I say that the women are as sick as the men, it's not a lie. The women, in, they start out just innocent and they become. Liar, liar, pants on fire. These targets of their children. And they, they abuse their children along with their husbands at their husband's direction. And then they protect Bullshit. their husbands. And they have the abuse of the children. And then they hide the secrets of their husbands because they don't want their husbands to be arrested. But they also know that they're guilty too. It's, it's a disease in this cult because the victims become perpetrators. And that's what is so hard because for every woman that breaks free, they have got to <laughs> It's no not a disease. It's a choice to be you in the world. Absolutely. I don't think the women mean to get that way. I don't feel like they need to go there. But once you cross the threshold from victim to perpetrator, you lose the ability to say I'm a victim because you then turn your victimization into victimizing someone else. Someone has to break the cycle. Someone has to say enough. No amount of lying, no amount of saying that you know what? There's another thing I was thinking of. The reason why she's doing this, all these so called cults and everything else, is because nobody is questioning her antics except for people with brains like me and other channels. But we're not going full out, full fledged, KJ, you're wrong. We've researched this, we've done this, we know this, you are a liar. Nobody's done that yet. And I think that's what needs to be done because even Amy Duggar King has said this. She's, she's, KJ said that Amy Duggar said that she would had corporal punishment growing up and she was beat with a rod, this, that, and everything. No, she didn't. She, KJ did, did, did say that. And Amy said that it was all lies. She, that she never said that it was all lies. KJ just said that may have happened in other families, but not that Amy was aware of and it did not happen to her. And she had a really good childhood and she loved growing up. It was great. But I think that's why she does this is because nobody is questioning her on her antics. And it's not true. No amount of saying, well, we never pretended to be perfect or we weren't lying like the Duggars. It doesn't justify it. So just because you didn't get a show doesn't mean that you're getting your kids is any better. The illness that this cult has is so disturbing and I'm so tired of these people trying to control my platform. This is the same and thing every time. That if I don't follow their rules, they're going to publicly trash me or disparage me. I hope they do. I'm not in a cult and I'm not your views and I'm not... I live in the real world. I don't live in a world where girls men abuse their kids and punch them. It's disgusting. Okay. 
Okay, I'm turning on comments only for a minute. Of course they were off. Do not feel sorry for me. I don't, I'm not doing this for pity. I'm not a victim of this. I'm you wish you were, though. I'm feeling sad for myself. This is me just calling out horrible behavior. Ooh. I've had to hold back so much. No, you haven't. For like three months because I've had to be like walking the tightrope. When the hell has this woman ever held anything back? Anybody? Bueller? Anybody? Of them getting me information, but also placating their horrible behavior. You joke. They are really sick in the head. It isn't just Amy that tries to control what's on my platform. <coughs> what Amy does is a symptom of what this whole cult does. Every single one of them tries to control this platform. All of them. That's what she's mad about, because she still can't comprehend the fact that it's not Jim Bob in Amy's ear. It's Amy standing up for herself. It's Amy telling her no. It's Amy not liking KJ. It's Amy blocking KJ. It's Amy calling KJ out, and she can't stand it. All of them. And Amy might want to be distanced from this, but Amy Duggar profited off of this, became famous from this, knew her kids, her siblings were beat, or her cousins, knew about the corporal punishment. Wow. Maybe she spoke out about it, but it didn't stop her from being on the show. It didn't stop her mom from being on the show after the scandal happened with, with Josh. It didn't stop them from having a relationship with them despite what Josh was doing. It didn't stop any of that. Like, if you didn't want to have a relationship, all you had to do was separate yourself. Like. Nobody forced you to continue in that situation. So it's hard for me to feel sorry for people that continue to. Where's her sippy it. cup? I guess block. Two people block tonight. She's freaking out at me because why? Because I know you're lying. Of people that are around her. Because I know that she's friends with people that abuse their children. Because I know that she and her husband's businesses are struggling because they've made their name off the Duggar's name and everything is crumbling now. When they got the money, it didn't stop them. They allowed themselves to be controlled by Jim Bob. They allowed themselves to not speak out and be afraid and intimidated for what? KJ must love getting called out by Amy because Amy will do it again. She's had enough. Jim Bob and Mary gave Amy a house. Amy got two That's not true. Died. Amy even said that no, they actually bought their own goddamn house. It had nothing to do with Jim Bob. This is why Amy's pissed off, because she keeps lying. See? I don't know beyond that, but they still were on the show after they claimed they weren't on the show. You're a liar. She told me on my channel she was never on going on, and I found videos and episodes of her on going on. I found numerous times where she tried to not be honest with me. And it's like, when everything was going great, it was fine. But then at the same time, she knows about the rods that are in those houses, and she knew about the rod of encouragement, and she still was on the show. Like, if you're going to be against corporal punishment, why would you be on a show with your sibling or your cousins and your family when you know that your aunt and uncle are using a rod? Amy said she doesn't know that because it never happened. Because it made you famous, because it gave you exposure, what's life? Wow, KJ. <clears throat> if you're against corporal punishment, why would you want to be associated with the show? In my mind... If my family had a show like that, if they were doing that, I would want nothing to do with it. So now, to be self-righteous and against it, it just seems hypocritical. And to be screaming and yelling at anyone. He hates my... He hates happened. her, right? No, I don't know where I left off at. I just watched the rest of it all by myself, thinking that it was recording. Oh, man. That's a 100% lie. I don't know beyond that, but they still were on the show after they claimed they weren't on the show. She told me on my channel she was never on going on, and I found videos and episodes of her on going on. I found numerous times where she tried to not be honest with me. And it's like, when 
and everything was going great. It was fine. But then at the same time, she knows about the rods that are in those houses, and she knew about the rod of encouragement, and she still was on the show. Like, if you're going to be against corporal punishment, why would you be on a show with your siblings or your cousins and your family when you know that your aunt and uncle are using a rod <clears> on them? Amy already spoke about the rod, and it never happened in her family or her household. Amy also stated that she grew up in a wonderful household, and she loved her childhood. There was no rod. So shut up. Why? Because it made you famous? Because it gave you exposure? What's why? If you're against corporal punishment, <gasps> why would you want to be associated with the show? Did she just fucking say she made Amy famous? I'm sorry. I'm going to have to go back. Made it? What? If you're against corporal punishment, why would you want to be associated with the show? In my mind... My family had a show like that, and they were doing that. I would want nothing to do with it. So now, to be self-righteous and against it, it just seems hypocritical. And to be screaming and yelling at anyone that points out what's happening, it's just, it's ridiculous. And then to act like you were so against it, but when it was working, you, you profited off of it. Wow. And when so many times I tried to work with this girl, and she would just flat out lie to me. She wanted a singing career. She wanted a reality show. What does that have to do with lying? Me, you know? I never said that. I mean, if I said that now, it's, it's like, you know, she never said me. But she told me about the rod of encouragement. Ask her. Ask me about the rod of encouragement. Ask her about everything that she knows about criminal punishment. She knows it. Yeah, okay, That's listen. Like she does know about it. doesn't mean she uses it because she doesn't. And she was never brought up that way. Like, stop with the lying. She never told me. Otherwise, she really doesn't know anything. <laughs> wow. But if you know your cousins are being beaten, why would you want to show with them? Why were you helping perpetuate their fame? That's what she told me. She, she acted like she knew nothing. I like the training everyone knows about. Okay, she just said she acted like she knew nothing. So KJ's saying that Amy knew all this stuff happened, yeah, 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 yeah. At the end of this video, she says, Amy wasn't my source. She didn't know anything. Make that make sense. Just remember, listen at the end of it. She told me about the rod of encouragement. She even showed me a picture of what they looked like. Other people told me about it too. So she wasn't the only one. It wasn't like that was the only person that was giving me that information. But you were okay with the rod of encouragement? Like, I just don't get it. Of course she's not, you idiot. She was an adult when she was on the show. No, she didn't know anything about Josh Mesh. That's the one thing that others kept in it. Like, they did not tell them about that. And I believe that. I believe wholeheartedly they did not tell them about that. And now to discredit me, she's lying to people and saying that she never invited me to her apartment, like, come stay with her, which is such a bullshit. You guys saw the live stream. And then she's trying to... She never... Okay, listen, Amy never invited her. Are you joking? KJ went around and spread all these lies saying... Oh, yeah, I'm going. Amy invited me down with Deanna. They both want me there for moral support. They never once said that. Nice try, though. And I said that I was going to go to her place and, like, stay at her house for the trial. Not true. Like, I didn't even know if I was going to go to the trial. I considered You going said to you trial, but were going to go with her. People, not Amy. And stay with uh, her. Offered to let me stay with them, and I was like, uncomfortable with all of it. Right. I wanted to stay at a hotel if I was there, but I didn't want to go there by myself. Mm. Meanwhile, do you remember it? In that video, when she said that Amy and Deanna invited her down, she said she wouldn't be going by herself. She'd have a whole bunch of people with her. Like, which is it, KJ? She can't keep up her own goddamn lies. It's not like a, we're not against Amy. I'm against the lying. I'm against all of the lies. And not all of them lie. Like, Derek Diller doesn't, you might not agree with everything that he says, Derek Diller doesn't lie. Like, it's gotta be a joke. Doesn't. You might not agree with his politics. You might not agree with how he feels about people. But the one thing I will say is... Derek Dillard, really? Do you remember that video she did when she had that bleach blonde hoe bag hair? And she sat there and said she hated... Um, was it Jana? Hate her. I hate her. Because she's with Derek. Remember that video? She looked like an alien when her fingers all went cringe. Yeah, she did say that. Now look. Well, Eric, he doesn't fucking lie. Like, he means what he says, and he says what he means, and he holds to those convictions. Wow. There's no way. Hell, that's water. She told me she was never on Tony on. She was. As a guest. She told me that the video was about backwards Barbie. 
No. Ah, she backwards about, Barbie. She told me the comment was about Deanna. That she said it wasn't about Deanna when she got slow back. I mean, it was all, that was always how it was. No, it's not. It's right there. You just can't see it. <laughs> because of the, it's not missing. It's because of the angle. It's there. Um, hold on. Here. This is me texting Amy. The shade is a comment about Jana about not sleeping. She said I'm going to call out something that's not right and shouldn't happen. December 11th. That is Amy, in her words, telling me that post is about Jana. <laughs> You're digging yourself a whole big one. I have more. Just wait. Oh, yeah, I'm waiting. Here's Amy asking me to go to the trial with her. I might go to the trial, might. I want to know who's testifying. I said, me too. Fly down and go with me. LOL. LOL is laughing out loud. She's joking. I might. Do you think Boob would freak? He would lose his shit, she said. I don't lie. <laughs> I don't fucking lie. Oh, okay. I this girl telling me that I lie. My God, that is one ugly fucker. Hold on. Inside and out. Oh, you can't see this one. Oh my God, was that about backwards bar Barbie? LOL, yeah. And then look at here. KJ says that woman is a C U. What do you think the other letters are? She called her a C next Tuesday. LOL. Yeah. She knew it was about her. And I don't care that Barbie knows that she hates me. She does hate me. She's friends all of her life. Just obsessed about me. <laughs> just because someone hates you doesn't mean they're obsessed said, with you. Yep. Thank you. I, my, I said, my husband said you did a great impression. And she said, thank you. What's with the N? Thank you, N? She knew it was about Barbie. What's that? Huh? The whole time. Her mom knew it was about Barbie. But she goes on and says that it wasn't about Barbie. I got more. Hmm, how about you do? Yeah, look at this. This is where Amy's saying people, people are thinking you're staying with me. Staying like with you me. Got, you me. Where'd the rumor come from, KJ? Oh, I never said where I was saying. A long time ago, I said you asked me to come down, but with this, I said nothing. I don't expect to stay with anyone. I just said I don't need moral support, and that, and that we're best friends and staying with me, and that I'm providing security. It's like whoa, whoa. Yeah, whoa. see, I never said that. <laughs> this is Amy saying. I just said I don't need moral support, and then Amy says, and that this is what KJ is saying that we are best friends, and I'm you're staying with me, and then providing security, and Amy's like, whoa, 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 and then of course KJ's like, I never said that. Yeah, you did. It's in a video you made, dummy. She was like getting messages from these people, and it was just going on and on of me saying, I never said that. I never said that. I never said that. You did. I can't go to trial. It really is. I don't blame you. I still haven't decided. Literally. I don't think it would be safe for me. Oh my God. You're so important. Where am I telling Amy that I'm going to fucking stay with her? You did. Oh my God. When I find that goddamn video, I'm telling you, she did. I am so tired of this girl. I have so many of these messages. 
I'm not even interested in saying them because she says they can be fake. And then a week later when she's getting shit, she says, I don't know who that was. I thought we were talking about rednecks. When we flat out had a fucking conversation and she said, yeah, I know who that girl is. I've watched her. She did not say that because I didn't see that at all. You called well, backwards Barbie. I see you next Tuesday, though. I see that. Don't worry. I'll be glad to let her know. I said it wasn't about Jana when it was about Jana. I don't care about what... I don't care about this petty shit, but, like, she's trying to disrupt anyone I speak to and saying that I'm a liar when I didn't lie. She's the one that lied. And, you guys, she's going through some serious shit right now. Okay, so, I'm sorry. To my audience, who are you going to believe? KJ, which is a known liar, or are you going to believe Amy Duggar? Amy Duggar for the win. Ding, ding, ding. They owe so much money. Like, she knows. This is sick. She owes money in taxes for her commercial properties that they haven't paid in three years. Oh, my God. She has a huge tax lien right now for her business that she hasn't paid taxes on since she started. They have a loan out against a business that they acquired from her grandmother's debt debt, that they can't repay. She just paid off a massive IRS tax lien. And her business... This is some fucking stalker shit. If I was Amy, I would definitely be getting a restraining order. This is disgusting. Why is it every time she has a falling out with someone, KJ's got to pull up the financials? You know, she did the same thing to Keemstar and she was wrong. <laughs> it's falling apart because of what's happened with the government. Oh, and KJ's got a $70,000 lien on her house. Apparently that's true. Oh, and also, did you not know that her house is now in Todd's father's name so that she wouldn't lose it during the Toddy lawsuit? Yeah, did you guys know that? Well, there's some, there's some tea for you. Like, fuck off, KJ. All of that is public record. And I'm trying to just report a story. No, you're not. You're trying to be a snippy bitch. I don't know. She was like and a petty bitch. To the state of Arkansas. It's on public record. She has not paid taxes since 2018 for her company, 3130, the state of Arkansas. Why is this KJ's business, though, is what I want to know. Why is it every single time someone goes against the green with you, you have to sit there and pull up their financials? Why? You think you're better than them? Have you checked your fucking closet lately, girl? Yeah, I didn't think so. I don't think she bought the house. I haven't found any property records. Wow. Okay, again, yes, she did. The house was bought and paid for by Amy. It's been said and done, so you need to back off, KJ. I'm not sure she owns any house. But one thing you should do is pay your taxes. <sighs> and that's the problem. No, I don't think they bought a new house, you guys. There's literally not one single record in their name of a house being purchased. Wow. You're disgusting. Should I be telling you what's been going on in her life? Um, is she a public figure? <laughs> that points the finger at other duggers? When I'm Sorry, Jack. You don't like this part? <laughs> paying taxes? Should you pay your taxes? You're only reporting on her because now she can't stand your ass. They're in a financial crisis right now, and I feel bad for them. Wow. This is public record, and this is why she ended up flipping out on me because I found her tax lien. And I didn't even mean to find her tax lien on purpose. Yeah, right. Records for the numbers, and a $53,000 tax lien showed up. Okay, she's lying. I'm absolutely lying because I am sorry, but every single time she has fallen out, she goes for the financials. Nice try, KJ. I was like, did you know that this is fair? Because if I find it, like other people are going to find this. And after I made that comment to her, within five days, I was a horrible person. Far a horrible person. You, my dog, thinks so. She owed twenty-seven thousand for her business. Okay, then, if she didn't mean to find that, which I know damn well she did, why are you talking about it? Why did you keep talking about it then? They acquired two properties that they got when Grandma Mary died. They owe the city of Springdale fifteen thousand dollars for like back taxes. You're a horrible human being. And they finally paid off their tax lien with the IRS. Horrible. Her house. Hey, backwards Barbie. If you see this, I just wanted to let you know I did see the. Uh, Messages between her and Amy and KJ called you a C next Tuesday. So I don't know what you want to do with that, but I'd be going after her ass. Love ya.
the whole love you. That was a Mean Girls thing from the movie. <laughs> Regina George. Like <laughs> was it trying to be mean, though? What I don't like is when somebody tries to smear you because you found out information about them and they know that you have that information and they're afraid that you're going to you're gonna report it and then you don't report it because you want to protect them, but then you're like, if it was anyone else, I would report it. So huh? is it fair to sit on information just because you know that this person is... Maybe nice to How about just to don't you. say anything? Because all of it lies. I don't... You're not friends with people that you report on. You're not. <clears throat> and I quote KJ saying, me and Amy are friends. She said the same thing about Lindsay Chrisley. Your friend Lee. I have empathy for people, but I'm not anybody's friend. Like, if you have empathy, no, then I can fly... I have empathy, she says. And there's nothing like that serious about a tax lien. Like, it's. Okay, they're sort of trying to w wiggle out of it. Well, I accidentally found the tax lien, and it's, you know, it's not that serious. <laughs> oh my god. Not that big of a deal, right? It's like, you should pay your taxes. So but should you. You got a $70,000 one mouse. Again, so, deflecting that the reason why Amy's pissed off at her is because of her mouth. Oh my God, that's perfect right there. When you live outside of your means, that's the problem. You're sick, KJ. She got a house from them. I mean, no, she so didn't. Just like you do. I think she benefited from me and that she got an audience. I think she likes the attention. <laughs> I genuinely think that like she's probably a nice person, but I also think that she likes the attention because there's a lot of people in the Duggar world that don't speak publicly because they don't want the association because they know what comes with it. Wow. This is the face of a true narcissist if she thinks that. Holy shit, you guys. My teeth, my teeth, or my no teeth, sorry. My freaking gums are starting to hurt. I gotta take some medicine. Be right back. And it would be hard for her not to lie. She was raised by Mary, the liar. The, the house, the taxes have nothing to do with the house that was given to her. Like, that's nothing to do with the house that was given. They inherited commercial property that Mary died, and they haven't used taxes on those properties. And they also haven't, I don't know, it's just I'm not saying old people a lot of money, and I think that's why she's freaking out right now. But the truth is, when you're a part of this world, and it's like, dude, just pay your taxes. I don't, okay. Whoever's out there watching this, we gotta come together and we gotta dig KJ. I'm done with this. I'm sick and tired of her coming down people's throats, pulling financials. Whoever has the means to do this, I don't fucking care. We're doing it. I don't care. We'll do it. We'll throw it up on my channel. We'll do it up on another channel that has whoever has a bigger platform, but we're doing it because I am so sick to death, especially when it's all public record. I'm so sick to death of her going after people. It's I'm beyond pissed. So thank you, Kimberly, for telling me to watch this goddamn Instagram. You're right. I'm livid. I love you, but I'm livid. Ugh. Anyways, anybody game? I'm game. Let's do it. I'm done with her shit. See how you like it. Who cares about Barbie? Just let it go. And we're moving on. Now. Of course. I haven't mentioned her name. Uh, you did. You mentioned backwards Barbie. You said that you and Amy were making fun of her. So, uh, yeah, you did. And now you're saying that you did. What the fuck? You make my head spin. Isn't that nice? I don't know. Mary's just a liar. Like, 
She has no proof of anything in there. That's a shitty thing. She has absolutely nothing. You're a shitty person, KJ. There comes the famous black tooth. See it? There's a few in there, actually. So, wow. Just pay your taxes. Don't live outside of your means. Don't get mad that you built yourself up on a platform based on abuse and sexual abuse and turning a blind eye to that abuse. Because you didn't have to start a business and have She just fucking said that Amy built herself up on a child, like a CSA, child abuse. Are you kidding me? This is a horrible person. Oh my god. That's pure hate in this one. Pure hate. Your husband used dill pickle. Why would your husband have his your name be like dill pickle? It's a play on the Duggars, right? You're disgusting. Um, your husband hate the Duggars? Really? Why would he use dill pickle? He's doing that for the attention of the Duggar name. Keep blocking. I love it. The more you block, the more people you don't have to pay your goddamn bills. It's funny. I, I block someone that says something about something, and then they come in with a brand new account. Yeah, she seems to think that because one person says something, it's only that one person. And they're, then they'll come back as a troll, another troll account. No, it's because people don't like you. They're all different people from all over the world, you idiot. I just think it's gross to be, like, bullying people and saying things. Okay, is what she's doing right now not a form of bullying? By constantly pulling people's financial records and lying on them? I mean, holy crap. You don't know that dill pickles have to do with the Duggars? Come on. One of the biggest bloggers that work, does Duggar stuff is pickles. The Duggars are obsessed with dill pickles. Yeah, They're and? Obsessed. It's their thing. I think she's making sexual innuendos about that, and if so, she needs to Amy go. Amy didn't have information. Did you hear that? Remember I said a few minutes back, I said, remember, she says Amy knew everything about the Duggars. Amy knew all about that stuff. Now she's saying Amy's not her source and Amy didn't know anything. Like, make up your goddamn mind. It wasn't my source. Wow. And she didn't befriend me from Cradle Catholic. That's not even a word. You should go back to high school. Yeah, she did, actually. She blocked you on everything. You can't stand it. I'm loving it. I didn't show anything about the Barbie stuff, and I didn't show those screenshots before because I didn't want to play the stupid game. I didn't want to have to prove that I wasn't lying. But the fact that it keeps going on and on and on, like, it's just stupid. <laughs> you told me it was Barbie. That's the screenshot. You said it was about her. All you no, you told her afterwards it was about lying. Barbie. That's how that got figured out. And she, and that's how it started. She knew it was about that. Everyone knew it was about Barbie. Like nobody knew it was her voice. I can't believe you called her. They'll see you next Tuesday. People go to hell for that shit. Like, how much more do you got to block? Can you not? I'm surprised. Like, how do you not know you're the problem? You're that entitled and narcissistic that you think you're blocking people just because you're better than I'm them? i post that stuff and I'll be back later. Bye. <clears throat> okay, that was quick. Ridiculous. Okay, I wanted to show you the part right here. Probably missed it. This is from Ronell's video, but I wanted to show you the part where Amy starts talking about the house and everything. Got nervous that she co-host. Shit. I thought I had it at the spot. Okay, I guess it's not even on here. What the heck? Okay, I'm gonna ask back here. AJ, the organization. All to say herself. What's the video? I'm confused. <clears throat> escaping polygamy was a fake show. It 
wasn't yeah, I remember that. That was horseshit. But then you go and watch it. But, and why did she do that? Because I saw. Uh, she has a lot of. And she has. And a few years ago, he had a shock of sexual harassment. Do as anything. I just. He is going to. If. You. Where the hell is it? Suit. I'm sorry, guys. I thought I had it pause right. But this, what was it? Like ever? So she's not gross. Like, oh. Okay, I think I'm on the wrong video then. Well, that sucks. Where the hell? Yeah, I thought this was on. This is the right video. I don't get it. I don't even think I actually said sexually harassed. Contacting us, like, like people just wow, maybe I'm losing my mind. I don't know. Okay, I'm losing this is really weird. All the DMs. Okay, I guess I'm gonna end here. I'm gonna have to try and find that part then because I can't find it. But anyways, it was just um, Amy saying that she did buy her own house and that she was not given one from Jim Bob. So I just wanted to show that part that she did say that. I don't know why I can't find it on here. It sucks. I don't understand that. It's not on that. Is it here? It's so cute, Renelle. What was the new information that was from people? Okay. So that's what I say. You know what Kay doing? She takes traumatic experiences. This young lady. Where the hell was it? This is going to drive me nuts. Organization. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Clearly it's not there. All right. Well, um, I'm probably, this is going to be probably the only video I can do for a bit. I'm so sore as hell. I'm actually going to go lay down in my bed and watch a movie. <sighs> All right. Well. I didn't want to. I didn't want to miss it. I just didn't want her to delete it because she's a dirty deleter. <laughs> All right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm glad I got it for you. Um, I'll be back in a few days. Take care. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys in the comment section. Bye.